Vishnu Vishnu is the graceful, dark-skinned, glorious God who protects the world. He stands between heaven and earth and generously showers his blessings on all the living beings in the world. Being born of the sun, Vishnu is believed to dispel the darkness of the world. In one of his four hands, he holds the auspicious Sudarshana Chakra, bestowing light on all creatures. In the other hand, he holds a conch, showing that he is as vast as the ocean. Seated on a coiled snake called Ananta, Vishnu meditates on the state of the world. His compassion is vast and unlimited. Vishnu is married to Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. She was created when the gods churned the ocean of milk to obtain Amrita or the nectar that was at the bottom. It is believed that goddess Lakshmi watches over the riches of the world and distributes it among people. Vishnu rides on Garuda, the king of birds. He travels all through heaven and earth, taking care of numerous things. He dutifully ensures the welfare of all beings. Vishnu is very proud of Garuda, who assists him in fighting evil in the world. Garuda constantly fights fierce battles with the serpent tribe or the Nagas and is successful in overpowering them. In ancient times, Vishnu was also closely associated with Indra, the celestial prince. He was in charge of the magnificent ceremonies that were conducted in Devaloka, the abode of Indra. In order to protect the world, Vishnu assumes different forms. Once, the magic nectar of the gods was stolen by the demons and only Shiva could retrieve it. To persuade Shiva, Vishnu took the form of a beautiful maiden, Mohini. In order to destroy evil, Vishnu takes many forms to vindicate wrong and protect good from evil. There have been nine such incarnations or avatars so far. The first avatar of Vishnu was Matsya, the fish. When the demons decided to destroy the universe with a great flood, Vishnu, as Matsya, saved a man called Vaivashvata in order to preserve the human race. The flood had also drowned many precious things at the bottom of the sea. The gods and the demons together decided to rescue the riches from the sea. Vishnu then took the form of a tortoise, Kurma, to help them hold a mountain, which was used to churn the ocean. Later, when the earth sank into the bottom of the ocean, and all life on earth was in danger of drowning, Vishnu took the form of Varaha, the boar, and lifted the earth on one of his tusks and brought it back. A long time ago, there lived a demon called Hiranyakashipu who troubled the gods. Vishnu was very angry with the demon. In order to conquer the demon, he took the form of Narasimha who was half man and half lion. Vishnu destroyed the demon and restored peace in the world. Once the demon king Mahabali took over the three worlds, Vishnu took the form of Vamana, a priestly dwarf, and approached Mahabali. Mahabali granted him three feet of land. The dwarf then changed back into Vishnu 
and covered the heavens with his first step, the earth with his second, and as he had no place to take his third, he placed his foot on Mahabali's head and defeated him. Kartavirya was a king who had a thousand hands. He was cruel to the people of the earth. Vishnu reincarnated as Parusharama with an axe as his weapon. He chopped off the thousand arms of the king and killed him. One of Vishnu's famous forms is that of Rama, the son of King Dasharatha. Shortly after Rama's marriage with Sita, the demon king of Lanka, Ravana, kidnapped her. With the help of the king of monkeys, Sugriva, and the devoted Hanuman, Rama rescued his wife from Ravana and killed him. The next avatar was that of Krishna. Vishnu assumed this form in order to slay the evil king Kamsa, who had unjustly imprisoned his own father and sister. Krishna also guided the Pandava princes and became the teacher of Arjuna. The last incarnation of Vishnu was Buddha. In this avatar, he came to earth to revive the ancient wisdom of India and to bring back a good way of life filled with peace and happiness. The tenth avatar of Vishnu is yet to come. It is believed that at the end of this age, Vishnu will appear in the form of Kalki, riding a white horse and waving a sword. During the time between two avatars, Vishnu goes to sleep for a million years. He rests on the coils of Ananta, attended by his wife Goddess Lakshmi, and lulled by the enchanting music of his bard, Narada. <laughs>